Hello friends, in the last video we discuss about semi-conservative mode of DNA replication. You can refer my video, the link is given in the description box. Today we are going to discuss about origin of replication in prokaryotes. So first of all, what is origin of replication or definition of origin of replication? An origin of replication is a sequence of DNA at which replication is initiated or replication starts on a chromosome, plasmid or virus. Prokaryotic chromosome, it is circular, less extensively coiled. It has single origin of replication, hence whole chromosome is a replicon. That is monoreplicanic and replicon is circular. So now what is replicon? Entire region of DNA or entire stretch of DNA that is replicated from a single origin of replication is known as replicon. So there are certain machinery that are involved in DNA replication. How does replication machinery know where to start replication? Specific nucleotide sequences called origin of replication is the site where replication begins. So these replication machinery recognize these specific nucleotide sequences or origin of replication in order to begin the DNA replication. These sequences of base pairs is recognized by certain proteins called initiator proteins. In prokaryotes, it is DNAA, highly homologous protein, and this binds to the specific site known as origin. Here we will discuss about origin of replication in E. coli. It has single origin of replication known as ORIC and it is approximately 245 base pair long. It contains two short repeat motifs. One is nine-mer. There are five copies of nine nucleotides or nine base pair repeats spread throughout ORIC. It is the binding site for DNA A. Second is 13 mer. It is three copies of 13 nucleotides or 13 base pair repeats. And this is 80 rich region. It is the site of strand separation or melting. So it is the site where hydrogen bond breaks and the two strands separate from each other. So this is the E. coli chromosome. This is the origin of replication known as ORIC. Let us see its enlarged view. There are three copies of 13 nucleotide base pairs which is known as 13 mer and five copies of nine nucleotide base pair repeats known as nine mer. These nine mer serves as the DNAA binding site and this is the site where the two strands separate. And this origin of replication is approximately 245 base pair long. Now the separation or denaturation or melting of strands by DNAA. DNAA protein binds to the five copies of nine mers and 13 mer region is denatured. This 13 mer region is 80 rich region. This then serves as a replication start site or this region where the strands separate serves as the start point of the replication. The denatured region allows for the recruitment of DNA B which is helicase which complexes with DNA C which is helicase loader. So let us understand it here. DNA A comes and bind with the 9-mer region of the origin of replication. It requires energy which is obtained by hydrolysis of ATP. When it binds then the DNA twists as a result of which DNA A comes in contact with this 13-mer region. At this region the two strands separate or the hydrogen bond between the base pairs breaks and the two strands of the DNA separates. Now it is known as open complex. So what we have seen that at the 13 mer region the two strands separates 
and it is the start site for the DNA replication and this region is rich in AT base pair. So why it is AT rich region? AT base pairs are held together by two hydrogen bond while GC base pair by three hydrogen bond. This we have discussed earlier. Hence GC base pair has stronger bond compared to AT base pairs or in other words AT base pair are 33% weaker than GC base pair. As a result, stretches of DNA that are rich in AT pairs can be separated more readily at lower temperature and allows replication machinery to come in or to enter. Hence, this 13 mer region is AT rich region. Once the two strands of DNA separate at 13 mer region, further unwinding of the double helix of DNA takes place by helicase enzyme and this enzyme uses energy which is obtained by hydrolysis of ATP. It unwinds the DNA by breaking hydrogen bonds between complementary base pairs. As the DNA opens up, Y-shaped structure called replication forks are formed and it is the point where the replication proceeds hence it is known as growing point there is single replication fork in unidirectional replication and two replication forks in bidirectional replication and these two replication fork in bidirectional replication proceed away from origin in opposite directions Rate of movement of replication fork is 1000 nucleotide per second. So here, this is the replication fork and the replication proceeds in only one direction. Here there are two replication fork, one and two. This replication fork moves in this direction or the replication proceeds in this direction and here the replication proceeds in this direction. That is, these are opposite of each other. These moves in opposite direction. This is bidirectional mode of replication. As the two strands of DNA separates, it becomes single stranded and this single stranded DNA is like RNA as it can form complex secondary structures by internal base pairing or become double helix. So single strand binding protein code the single strand of replication fork to prevent single stranded DNA from winding back into a double helix. Now let us summarize common features of origin of replication. These are unique DNA segments. These contain short repeated sequences. These are recognized by certain origin binding proteins and these are AT rich regions. So this is all for today's video. In the next video, we will discuss about overview of prokaryotic DNA replication or we will discuss about prokaryotic DNA replication briefly. So stay tuned. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it and subscribe my channel. Thank you.